What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Good Game Reviews. Here to do another game reaction. We are doing Week Five: Patriots at Redskins. Uh, final score: thirty-three to seven. Pretty much what you know everybody expected. Didn't really expect a good um, a good game going into that, but they come out with the victory. Patriots are five and zero. Uh, they're looking to get to six and zero next week against the Giants. But let's go ahead and talk about what happened uh, this previous game. Um, I'm going to start with the good like I usually do. Tom Brady, 28 um, completions, 42 attempts, 348 yards, average three, uh, 8.3, had three touchdowns, one interception, uh, that being the interception that he threw in the end zone because uh, he was under duress. But, I mean, interception is interception. Uh, 106.1 pass rating, so... Pretty good. You know, I wouldn't call this like a bounce back game since it was against the Redskins. Um, totally different defense. I mean, if you want to compare the Redskins defense to the Bills defense, then go right ahead. But I I wouldn't do it. Um, as far as rushing goes, Sonny Michelle, 16 carries, 91 rushing yards, 5.7. Uh, that's what he averaged on the ground. Had a touchdown, had a long of 25. Uh, that that um, it's, uh, that long, I wanted to go ahead and get into that one. The blocking seemed a little bit, um, um, it seemed a little, I don't know, I don't know what they did different. I don't know what they did different as far as the blocking. I can say this, at least about that play, I noticed that Ryan, that Ryan Izzo was on the edge. He got a good block. Created a big hole. Sonny Michelle goes through, races down the sideline. Uh, but as far as like that whole game goes, I don't. I'm not. I'm not sure what exactly they did different to get them involved. At least in that second half, the first half looked like pretty much the beginning of this season. But the second half, it just seemed like he came that like they came alive in terms of being able to rush the ball. So I mean, that's there's that. At least at least Sonny Michelle. You know, look good this game. I like to see that. I don't. I I don't like seeing Sonny Michelle looking sucky out there. So, uh, I mean, that's just me. But as far as receiving goes, uh, Julian Edelman he led the team in receptions. He led the team in yards. He had eight for 110, uh, one TD, and um, yeah, I mean, he's pretty much like the driving force for that whole game. He made some great catches. Um, Pretty, he was pretty much like I don't, I don't think they moved the ball as well without him there, and that's pretty much like a duh, like a like a oh you don't say, um, but yeah I, I really don't think they moved the ball as well, without him on the field in this game because, other than him nobody, is breaking a hundred yards. I think this is probably the first time we had a receiver, break a hundred yards. It's crazy to think about, but yeah, I mean we're five weeks in, and going up, going up against against the competition that we've gone up against, and we just, we, I mean we're just now having a receiver break a hundred yards. I think up until this point, I think the only person who even got close to that was um, uh, Jacob Brissett when he had the ninety-five yards and the two TD grabs against uh, Pittsburgh. But I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's very strange to see. But I mean, they're finding ways to win, so it's it's whatever. But uh, one thing I wanted to get on, one thing I wanted to touch is Sony Michelle. I said this in a video two weeks ago. I think they need to get Sony Michelle into the passing game if you want success. As far as Tony Michelle's success, you have to get him involved into the passing game. Now, they didn't throw him like eight passes or ten passes or anything like that. Um, but he did. He, he was targeted three times. He caught, he caught the ball three times. He had 32 receiving yards. Um, I mean, make it that as you would. I mean, make it that what you, what you want. I mean, that's pretty much. I mean, looking at. Combining receiving yards with the rushing yards, 
I mean, this is his best game of the season. A hundred and I want to say thirty-three. I mean, no, one hundred and twenty-three all-purpose uh, for him. So, like I said, you got to get him involved into the passing game. You have to get him involved into the passing game. I feel like they're going to do a little bit more of that. Um, and so maybe later on we'll see some of the uh, some uh, some of those plays like we saw today uh, with Brandon Bolden where he uh, was lined up against a linebacker and Tom Brady saw it and he saw the mismatch and he uh, got him in the end zone for a touchdown. Maybe we see some more. Maybe we see some of that with Sonny Michelle. Um, you know who's to say? Um, but as far as the defense goes. Once again, they show out early on. The, early in the game, you know, it, it's looking a little crazy. You got the Redskins scoring uh, off a long touchdown run. It just, it, I mean, it, it's just boggling my mind. I know uh, seeing Redskins up seven to uh, seven to zero against the Patriots. It just didn't. It didn't look. It didn't look natural. That 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 part did not look natural to me. But once the game progressed, it was pretty much looking like same old, same old as far as the Patriots this season and pretty much every season. They just get off to a run and they can't be stopped. They had 33 unanswered points. Um, but the defense, the defense is what is going to really save the Patriots in a lot of these games. It's not going to be necessarily Brady having to pull comebacks. Or Brady having to pull long drives to get his team in good field position and all that stuff is pretty much going to be the defense just knocking the hell out of everybody and getting the ball back in the offense hands. So at least give them give Tom Brady and his offense more chances. Uh, Dante Hightower had eight tackles, uh, 1.5 sacks. Jamie Collins had a sack. Danny Shelton had a sack. Chase Winovich had a sack. Michael Bennett had have a sack. Um, Jason McCourty had an interception. Jamie Collins had a fumble recovery, um, courtesy of, of uh, Jonathan Jones punching the ball out. But this is, I mean, this is what we like to see from the defense. We like to see them creating opportunities for the offense, getting the ball back into the offense's hands, making good stops, pressuring the quarterback, getting sacks on the quarterback. That's, I mean, that's what we want to see, and that's what the defense has been providing us. Um, Hightower went as far as to um, coin the name of um, the boogie, the boogeyman or something. I guess that's what he's calling his defense now, the boogeyman defense. Uh, boogeyman of Boston uh, is what kind of came to my mind. I was like, oh, boogeyman of Boston, whatever. I, I, I mean, whoever gets the name and rights, it don't matter. Um, but just as long as the defense gets playing, I don't care if they have like a flashy name or not. I don't. I don't need a Saxonville name. I don't need the. Uh, purple, pur uh, purple man eaters or whatever, all this, all those stuff. I, I don't need any fancy names, any, you know, any of that stuff. As long as they just keep doing what they're doing, you can call them whatever you wanna. Um, but as far as uh, I wanted to get on special teams because I also think special teams had a good day. Um, Gunner, I feel like Gunner's gonna break off for a good run. He's gonna break off for. A for a punt return touchdown on one of these teams. It's only a matter of time because it, it I mean the dude he I mean he's doing his thing. He he's doing his thing. I I really want him to break off one of those long runs cuz I feel like he can do it. He just he had a chance last uh he had a chance yesterday. Uh saw, thought he saw a scene, closed up real fast, he got tackled, but the way he's running out there on these punt returns, I feel like Gunner's going to break off for one. Uh, Mike Nugent. Mike Nugent. I'll get into I'll get into like the bad stuff about Mike Nugent uh, a little later on, but I'm just gonna go ahead and touch on, on his good. He's in the good half right now because while he missed an extra point at the beginning, and I was pretty much like, well, I mean, what's the difference from Goskowski, uh, Goskowski and, and Nugent? Pretty much missing, uh, you know, the opening PATs. You know, like soon the team scores, time to kick a PAT. What they do, miss it. So it's like, I mean, look, it looks, it looked a little bit familiar. Um, but 
other than that, he made he had two field goals. He made those field goals. Um, so I don't think you know, it, like the pay, like the Patriots fans, they're not they haven't been mentioning him a lot. So they're not coming for his head. He pretty much did what he had to do. Uh, so yeah, that's all I really got to say about uh, Nugent. Uh, Jake Bailey, once again, you know he 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 did his regular thing. Uh, six punts, average forty six point two. Uh, net of 276 I mean just as far as like the overall you know yards he got off the punt um 57 was his long and he down two in the uh, in the uh, in the 20 so yeah I mean pretty much um basically Jake Bailey day I'm always gonna pretty much I'm pretty much gonna shout out Jake Bailey any chance I get after these games because I feel like he's just gonna you know put his team in a position to uh, you know, have good field position. Uh, man, uh, I didn't necessarily agree with the Jake Bailey pick. Um, I didn't know why, you know, Bill Belichick would like go so high to get a, you know, a punter, but it makes sense now. I mean, it, it, it sure as hell makes sense now. So, um, I mean, yay. Bill Belichick knows what's best, right? So, just put just put your faith in him. Uh, as far as the bad stuff goes, I will say, I will just go ahead and point out that missed PAT from Mike Nugent. Uh, even though it's you know nothing that we we're not used to, but I will go ahead and point that out. And the last field goal that he made, he almost missed it because it bounces off the it bounces off the edge of the pylon. And it just like with a good spin, I guess it just bounces back in, so it counts. And so like he ends up looking like oh, you know he had two field goal attempts, he made them, uh, but he could have easily missed that last one up. So I mean, hey, um, but yeah, uh, Mike Nugent, I don't know. This is the first game. First game as far as a grade goes for Mike Nugent, 80, 75, he passes. So, I mean, for now, but we have to see what he does next week. Uh, how many field goals is he going to have to kick for next week? How many PATs is he going to have to kick next week? Um, depending on that, you'll have your answer. But for right now, nothing to really push the panic button about. Uh, missed tackles is another thing I wanted to get into, especially on that first uh, score from, well, first and only score from the Redskins. Uh, I I had no idea that they could look that horrible, at least with this defense, as far as tackling goes. Just all that arm grabbing. I, I had no idea it could look that bad. I was like, how did they even allow that to happen? Um yeah, but hopefully we won't have to see anything like that for the rest of the season because that was just awful. Awful, awful, awful. Uh, but I ain't going to get into that. Um, I'm not, I ain't going to get too far into that. Um, Brady. Uh, I'm not saying Brady was horrible. More like, let me rephrase it. I'll say that old line that was protecting Brady was horrible because they allowed him to get sacked four times. Newhouse looked like a straight up bomb in that game. And I'm guessing it's because he probably is a bomb because the dude he was letting guys just go right past him. And that's his and that's his blind side. And he's and he's letting do and, and Newhouse is letting dude go right past him and smack Brady down. And uh, Ted Harris, it looked like he was getting exp exposed in times, man. It just it just looked like Brady was under duress the whole game. He didn't have time to really throw the ball. I I don't know. I mean, how? I mean, what else can you do to really improve this? I mean, I mean you even had Marcus Cannon, who was the one of their starters. He just got bull rushed, just straight up pushed back like a grocery cart. And 
Tom Brady gets, you know, thrown down to the ground again. So it, it really didn't make any sense to me. Um, Phil Dorsett also, you know, left the game. He left the game real early uh, due to a hamstring injury. Uh, you don't really like seeing stuff like that. Um, injuries is just... Uh, I guess, I mean, it's the name of the game, but it still sucks. So, and plus, you lose another receiver. Uh, some uh, Another piece of, you know, your team that you really don't have the luxury of, you know, losing. Because you need as many receiving options as you can, as you, as you can, like, get out there on the field. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, not sure about the seriousness of that injury just yet. Um, more information will be provided, of course. But, yeah, that's what the Patriots are dealing with as far as, you know, right now goes. So, all in all, decent game. Uh, Patriots did what they had to do. They put up 33 points. So, I mean, hey. Uh, couple got you know guys catching touchdowns julian edelman got him a touchdown ryan Izzo got him a touchdown brandon bowden got him a touchdown son michelle rushed for a touchdown so uh it's i mean pretty much same old same old defense did really well once again so going into next week they have really good momentum uh next week's going to be a home game against the giants so uh patriots uh look to know try to get to six and zero, and keep this you know undefeated streak going currently i think they are the only undefeated team minus the uh 49ers and that game starts today later on so we'll see what that's looking like they'll i think they're going against cleveland so um by the end of that game we'll see if the 49ers are still undefeated or if they you know also get a loss so I mean that's just I mean that's just what's going on right now. Um, but yeah, that's all I really have to say about this game. Really wasn't like it was other than like the great defensive plays that were being made and a couple of offensive plays that were being made. It wasn't anything too shocking that I saw in this game. Uh, minus the you know Brady getting sacked part, but we all know how that offensive line is looking. So really not like a lot of like big like highlight moments going on in this game um uh, i think everybody's pretty much looking forward to uh week eight i want to say uh yeah week eight when they go against the uh, uh browns so i think that's pretty much going to be the game that pe people are really going to be excited about but as far as like these next two games the giants and the jets I mean, hey, as, as long as they get the W, that's all I care about. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to always do this. Uh, another thing, I didn't get to do the prediction for this game. Um, but I didn't really need to. I'm going to start back doing that, though, uh, with this next game coming up, coming up on Thursday. So... I have the uh, prediction video out on Wednesday, so look forward to that. But until next time, I'm out.